Hello guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to format BitLocker encrypted disk if you've forgotten your BitLocker key. I've come across many Windows users who have lost their BitLocker pin or password and unfortunately don't have access to their recovery key. This can be a frustrating situation since it locks you out of your computer and even prevents you from resetting it. When this happens, the only solution is to format the entire drive, which will result in losing all your data. Once the drive is formatted, you'll need to reinstall Windows, which requires creating a bootable Windows USB for Windows 10 or Windows 11, depending on your system. All right, once you reach the BitLocker screen, you'll see a message prompting you to enter the PIN or password to unlock the drive. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find an option that says, press escape for BitLocker recovery. Press the escape key to proceed. On the next screen, you'll see a message saying, enter the recovery key for this drive. At this point, press the escape key once again for more recovery options and the system will begin preparing BitLocker recovery. Wait a few moments until the next screen appears. Next, you'll be directed to a new screen. Here, look for the skip this drive option, which can be found in the bottom right corner. Once you locate it, click on skip this drive to proceed. Next, click on troubleshoot, then select advanced options. And finally, click on command prompt. This will open a black command window where you'll need to enter specific commands to completely format the partition. First, type disk part and press enter to launch the disk partition tool. Next, to view all available disks on your system, type list disk press enter to display the list of disks in my case there is only one disk labeled disk zero which is my primary device where windows is installed on your system you may have multiple disks so identify the one containing your windows installation to select the correct disk type select disk with your disk number press enter to confirm the selection now we need to locate the volume where windows is installed to do this type list volume press enter and you'll see all the available volumes look for the volume labeled as the primary partition typically the c drive you can also confirm it by checking the size in my case it's volume one now first type this command to quickly clean the drive next we need to create a partition to create a new partition type create partition primary press enter to proceed Next, we need to format the partition. Type the following command. Format fs equals ntfs, label equals c quick. If your Windows installation is on a different drive, replace c with the appropriate letter. Press enter to start formatting. For an additional format step, type format fs equals ntfs, label equals c quick, press enter again. Finally, assign a drive letter by typing. Assign letter equals C press enter to complete the process. At this point, your disk has been completely formatted. Now, when you exit the command prompt, your computer will not boot since Windows has been erased. To proceed, you will need to reinstall Windows using a bootable USB. Now, type exit and press enter to close the command prompt. Next, click on turn off your PC and restart it. Next time, when the computer starts, you'll encounter an error stating that no disk or partition has been found. This is expected because the drive has been completely formatted. To proceed, connect your bootable USB and restart the system. You need to boot from the USB by adjusting the boot priority order in the BIOS. When prompted, press any key to boot from the USB. Once the setup loads, you will see the Windows 11 installation page and you have to reinstall your Windows operating system. That's all for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this guide helped you resolve your issue and gave you a better understanding of the process. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd be happy to help. Also, let me know if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.